Hey, this is Ocean K with a detailed look at the A19 poly splitter. Now, the A19 allows you to make polyphonic synths. Now, normally the A series using the A19 SEQ module creates monophonic synths. But when you send multiple note on MIDI signals to the A19 poly, it splits those signals into multiple monophonic signals. For, so for example, if you play a three note chord, the A19 poly sends out three sets of independent note and gate signals. So let's see how this would work. Well now here on the A series one, we have a basic monophonic synth made from a single A series one. Now, if I select this and I play three notes, I only hear the last note sustained. So this is a monophonic synth that only plays one note. But if I duplicate this a few times, and let's turn this around and run each one of the new uh, duplicates into a line mixer, and then instead of driving our MIDI signals to the independent uh, A-Series 1 uh, and the A19 SEQs will send all of our MIDI signals to the A19 poly. Then we'll hook up the A19 poly to set to send our gate signals of 1 to our first voice, to 2 to our second voice, and 3 to our third voice. Now when I send MIDI signals to the A19 and I send 3 signals, I hear all three notes. So now I've made a monophonic synth, in this case three voices, out of A series components. Well, so now that we know what it does, let's just go over the controls on the front. Now, uh, you set the number of voices that you want with the poly count. In this case, we would set it to three. Uh, and that can go anywhere from one to eight voices. We can do eight voices in total with the poly. And uh, the, this switch is the mode switch. This is the note assign mode. Now, by default, it's set to, set to lowest first. So if I hit a note, we see that the first voice is what's activated. And if I hit another note, it's the first voice. If I hit two notes, we see it's the first two. Now, if I let up on that first voice and I press down on another key, it's set to that first voice again. So in this case, it's that first A series. So when the mode is lowest first, that means whatever the lowest voice is that's free will play that note. All right. The second mode is incremental, and that means that every time I press a note, it increments to the next free voice. In this case, I only have three hooked up, so we'll change the poly count to three. And now it will do what's also called round robin. It'll just go from free voice to free voice. Now, if there isn't a free voice, it'll just round robin to the other free voices. Okay, so that's the second mode. The third mode is random, and that will randomly pick a free voice. If we bring it up to eight, some of them won't sound, but we'll see that just random voices are selected. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's the A19 poly. It's a poly splitter with uh, eight um, sets of gate and CV outs with a, vo a poly count voice of between one and eight and three modes of uh, voice assigned. So that's it. Thanks for watching.